Yeah, happy birthday. Happy um, hope you had a great weekend. Hello, hope you had a great weekend. So teacher will just show you the worksheet that we are about to uh, do. But the question is, did you do this at home or no? Because if you did not, hello po, ma'am. Hello. Did he do this at home po? Apo. Yes po. All right. So that means um, we are just going to check your answer. If it's not a complete sentence, teacher will help you make it a complete sentence. So again, title of our story is Building a Class Project. This story is about Grayson, our main character, and his grandpa Higgins, who helped him build or do his class project at home. Now, let's continue with our worksheet. Can you please read the first question that we have? Okay, I'm going to highlight it so you know where we are. So, first question that we have is, is color green? Can you read the first question? Um, Wait for you. Make it louder so teacher can hear you. Okay. Why wasn't Grayson excited about the school project? Alright. So why is he not excited? And your answer is, can you read it slowly? Because teacher will type it on screen. Read your answer. Slowly, okay? Because Grayson have is anyone to it help is can you say it again Grayson is not did it because, because did Grayson it. didn't have anyone to help the Grace is it Grayson is not is that right because Grayson Are didn't didn't Oh, okay po. Grayson, so is it Grayson na mo? Opo, because Grayson didn't have. Oh, okay. Because Grayson didn't have. Okay, continue in that. Didn't have what? Anyone to help the school uh -huh. didn't project. Repeat. Project? Grayson didn't have any. Read it again. Didn't have. He didn't have mm. anyone to help the. Because Grayson didn't have. What's next to have? Anyone. Anyone. Okay. To. To. Help. Help. The. That's it? Until help? Read. The because Grayson didn't have anyone to help. The school project. What's next to uh, anyone to help? The school project, teacher. After help, the school project. Oh, okay. Thank you for my okay. school. Okay, let me just type it here. School and then down. Alright. Why wasn't Grayson excited about the school project? Ethan's answer is because Grayson didn't have anyone to help. To help, then we need to add to help him in his... Here. I'm just going to fix it so it's... Uh, it's a complete sentence already. But we're just going to insert some words. So it's going to be like this. Because Grayson didn't have anyone to help him... And then I'll put it in the school card. <laughs> Let me just fix it. I'm still typing, sorry. Because it, it will not fit in the line. I Hopefully, you can still see it. Help him in the school card. Here you go. So, yeah. can you um, add the words that you didn't have on your answer? Mm -hmm. To make it a complete sentence, we are going to make it because Grayson didn't have anyone 
to help him in his school project. So I wanted to add the mm -hmm. words. Mm -hmm. I think you need to add uh, mm -hmm. help him in his. In his. To make it mm -hmm. a complete sentence, mm -hmm. okay? When you're done, I'm going to ask you to read your answer. But please write the answer first. So each sure knows if you are done, okay? Remember, you need to copy the one on the screen. Mm -hmm. So your answer is correct. While you're writing over mm -hmm. there, I'm going to uh, analyze your answer. So you're correct. He is not mm -hmm. excited because at first he thought no one is going to help him at home with his school project. But little did he know that his grandpa hated it to be available for him to help him with his school project. So kindly complete the sentence mm -hmm. first, copy the one on screen. And when you're done, teacher will ask you to read it again. Read it. Kindly read it from yeah. your worksheet, not yeah. on screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Louder. Read. Because Grayson didn't have anyone to help him in his school project. Yes, that is correct. See? Your answer is uh, is already correct, but teacher just help you to add more words to make it, uh, to make it more complete and to make it a complete sentence. So that means we are already done. Thank you so much for doing your assignment at home. Also, I got your worksheet last week. I asked mommy to take a picture of it, so I checked it already on message. Well, let's proceed to the next one after number one. We're already done with number one. Can you read number two? Read the number two. Color rest. Yeah, I Grayson was upset. Start with Grayson. Grayson was upset, but he stopped to answer Grandpa. What does this tell you about Grayson? Hmm. So in this part, I'm going to remove our answer because I want us to go back in the story. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says here, Grayson was upset, but he stopped to answer Grandpa. So let's go back to that part of the story. I'm going to remove the screen now, okay? Since you're done writing. And then let's go back to that part where it, Grandpa asked if it was him. Up here. Here you go. It's this part. I wanted to read this part again for us to be remembered what happened. So from here, here. Only this part, the orange one. Can you read? Hmm. Read though. This one. Read. Start with Grayson. Grayson, Grandpa's voice mm -hmm. called out was the you Grayson, stop. Before he closed his bedroom door, he didn't want to hurt Grandpa's feelings, so he had better answer. Yes, Grandpa, it's me. Yes, that's correct. So remember when he was brushing on his way home from um, the school mm. bus, and then he wanted to go to he wanted to go inside his room already, and you know just. Since he's upset, maybe he's, well, he wanted to get a rest, something like that. But then, um, his grandfather, his grandfather saw him and asked him if it was him. But then, even if he was, you know, he was lonely and angry at the same time, it says here that he didn't want to hurt Grandpa's feelings. So he answered with a better answer, which is, yes, Grandpa, it's me. So. That's the part of number two. And I'm going back there to check what's your answer. Number two. Okay. Can you read your answer to me slowly? Mm -hmm. number two. Okay. Read. Can I? Mm -hmm. Number two. Slowly, okay. Word by word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's start. Grayson. Grayson. Okay. Felt. Bone. Felt. Felt. Help, okay. Grayson help. Felt, teacher, felt. Naramdaman. Ah, felt, felt. Okay, sorry, Wang. Grayson felt. His. 
is sadness. Sadness, okay. In in anger. Anger, okay. Rising. I rising. Oh, anger rising. All right, rising. Inside. Inside him. Inside him. Inside him. Is that Apo. correct? Apo. Thank you, Mamu. Okay. Very soon felt his sadness and anger rising inside him. Is that correct? Inside. Okay. And we're going to add inside of him. We're going to do it this way. But teacher would want to also add after this. Okay, here you go. Just add. Ooh, wala yung sorry, like na cut siya. Okay, but she's going to do it again. We're going to put um, inside the cake. So three on fell sadness. But your answer is correct. He really felt uh, his sadness and anger inside of cake. Yeah. Arising, sorry, I forgot the word right. That's nice. I like your answer. Grayson felt sadness and anger rising inside of him. Yes. Which is correct. What does this tell you about Grayson? But then, okay, just add the word off. Here, I'm going to insert it. But then, <clears throat> sorry, the question in here says, what does this tell you about Grayson? Remember that he is already sad and he is angry, right, at the same time. But then it says here, but he stopped to answer Grandpa, right? He was upset, but he stopped. So what does that mean? I'm going to ask in the chat box. If you, oh, hold on. If you are upset, but... Still talk to others. How does it make you feel? Here you go. So I have a question for you in the chat box. If you are upset, this is for Ethan, okay? You are upset, but you still talk to other people. Say, for example, you're upset, but then when you went home, you still talk to mama or mommy and other people at home. How does it make you feel? I want to know how you're feeling. If you are upset, but you still want to talk to them. Or you still talk to them despite being upset. So how does it make you feel? Does it make you feel relieved that, you know, that even if you're upset, uh, you still want to talk anyway? Does it make you feel friendly? Mm -hmm. Or does it make you happy that even if you're upset, you can still talk to them? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Or does it make you feel, let's say, respectful? Because maybe ayaw mo lang masaktan yung feelings nila. So you want to talk to them still. Mm -hmm. So can you tell teacher, how does it make you feel? So imagine ha, kunyari, um, upset ka, when you're upset, you're sad or you're mm -hmm. angry at the same time. But then, kinakausap ka para ni Mamo and ni Mama. And since you did not want to hurt their feelings, you still talk to them. So, how does it make you feel? Right, pwede naman yun kahit galit tayo. You still want to be composed. Okay. It makes you... Okay. So this one is the one that you're showing to the other people, which you're going to make a sentence for number two. Ia-add lang natin to ha, since we still have space. So I'm going to write he um he felt the need, I'm going to add the answer, respect. So he, he felt the need to be respectful. And he, I'm going to add didn't again since you answered that in number one. 
and he didn't want to hurt his feelings. Here you go. So this is the part that we're going to add now, okay? It's a good thing we have a lot of space. So let's add this next part that I did. So the answer that you're going to write, please write it first before I ask you to read our answer in the first. Kindly add this one. He felt the need to be respectful, which she said. Uh, you still feel the need to be respectful even if you're upset. You're still going to talk to your parents or your grandparents. And not only that, in the story, even Grayson said that he didn't want to hurt his grandfather's feelings. So kindly write that one as well. To make uh, our answers. So all together, the lower answer natin with number two. First is your answer, and then the second one is what we made out of the word respect. So let me know if you are done. And and when you're done, I'm going to ask you if do you agree with our answer in number two. Can answer with a yes or so when you're done in writing number two in color yellow, yeah at lang natin siya. You can just put it after your answer. Please answer in the chat box if do you agree with our answer in number two? Do you agree with our yes answer? answer? Yes or no? So I'm going to wait for your answer mm. and then I'm going to ask you to yes, read um, our answer in the way. Alright, so you agree that we still need to be respectful and of course, if you do not want to hurt their feelings, we will still talk to them even if we are upset. So kindly read your number two, but please do not read it on screen. Read it from mm. your worksheet. Okay, don't you look mm. yeah. Start with your answer, Grayson. Grayson felt his sadness and anger rising inside of him. He felt the need to be respectful and he didn't want to hurt his feelings. That's correct. So, that's a perfect answer, right? So, the way answer natin for number three. Now, let's continue with number three. So, I'm going to ask you to read number three. And then, I'm going to show you which part of the story we have. For that. Time to read number three. Number three. Read number three. What if a child believer is a Powder. metaphor used by grandpa? What does it mean? Why does grandpa use this metaphor? So before we proceed with uh, that part in the story, I'm going to explain what metaphor means. So in this part, we talk about the word metaphor. When we talk about metaphor, it means that grandpa is, uh, you call this, comparing himself to another thing, which is, in this case, he's comparing himself to a chopped liver. Here you go. Now, the question in there is what is what does it mean and why does grandpa use this metaphor? So before we answer that one, we are going to check which part of the story it has for the shop list. I think it's here at the top. There. Oh wait, hold on. Ah, here, 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 this part. Ah, here you go. Oh, this part. This is where you got your answer. All right. So let's read this part. Uh, here, the purple one. Can you read this part? All of this. Start with great something. Window. This one. Great something. Grayson felt his sadness and anger rising inside him because I don't have anyone to help me. He sounded so pathetic. 
Grandpa, no please, this I was in the first What am I? He asked. Uh -huh. The prison was in the vice. Would Grandpa help him? Do you do a project with me, Grandpa? Sure, I would. Grandpa said he turned back toward the kitchen. Just let me finish this sandwich and get some milk. Alright, thank you for reading that part. So we are talking about the chopped liver when Grayson was feeling upset and then he told his grandpa because I don't have anyone to help me. And he sounded so pathetic. When you talk about pathetic, it means um, he's really upset and he's just, you know, thinking for himself. But then, Grandpa raised his eyebrows in surprise. And he said, what am I? A chopped liver? So in that case, I'm going to remove this part and I'm going now. For me to hear your answer is this. Uh, let's go back to number three. Okay, so for number three, can you read your answer slowly? So teacher can write. Number three, we're in number three, okay? What's your, do you have an answer in number three? Answer, Marie. A person. A person, okay. A person. Who feels. feels who feels? Can you say it again? Who feels? Who feels? Oh, feels? They are... After who feels? They are... They are... Being... Being, okay. Given less... Come again? Being... Given less... Given no, no, less. Given less. Ah, okay. Given less. Uh -uh. Attention. Attention. Okay. Or. Is your answer and Meron pa, okay. teacher. Or. Attention. Or. Consideration. Consideration. Then. Okay. Consider then. Someone that. else. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. Someone else. A person who feels they are being given less attention or consideration than someone else. Oh, this is very nice. Where did you get your answer? From the dictionary? Yeah. Oh, this oh. answer is really nice. Aha. Uh -huh. From oh. Lola? Oh, from hindi, sa dictionary po. Nag-research siya sa dictionary. Ooh, okay, okay. So this is actually nice. Your answer is correct. So, this answer is only for the first question, okay? Because we have two questions in here. What does it mean with the metaphor chocolate? And the answer in there says, a person who feels they are being given less attention. That's correct. Kasi diba, akala ni Grayson, wala naman siyang mukhang tulong. Parang kaya siya nalulungkot kasi, feeling niya, mag-isa lang siya. And... Grandpa said, what am I, a chop liver? So, parang, Grandpa is there, he is available, and he is not asking Grandpa's help. That's why, in your answer, they're given less attention or consideration than someone else. Kasi siguro, si Grayson, inisip niya, dapat parents lang niya yung tutulong sa kanya, right? Eh, meron namang iba. Kagaya mo, sa bahay, hindi lang si mama at saka si papa yung nasa bahay, hindi siya yung si mamu. At saka si Lolo, right? So, hopefully, they are not feeling a chopped liver. So, hindi siya yung literal na um, kinakat yung parts. Okay? But it means this is your answer. Now, we need to add another answer for that one. Because there's another question here. Which says, why does Grandpa use this metaphor? So, in the chat box, I'm going to ask you. Did... So did Grayson 
do and I'm going to do it. Do you think Grayson ask Grand Pass help in his school project? Or does he want to ask his parents instead? Here you go. This is my question for you. Do you think Grayson asked Grandpa's help in his school project? Tina um Tina nung kaya niya si Grandpa if he's available. Or do you think that Grayson wanted to ask his parents instead? So you can answer with ask Grandpa or ask parents. Alin kaya sa dalawa? In your understanding from our story, do you think that he's going to ask Grandpa for his help or he wants to ask his parents instead? So parents, pwedeng, mamu, ah, pwedeng mommy or daddy, mama or papa, okay? Did you know that he is not about to ask Grandpa? That's the reason why Grandpa said chop liver. Wala siyang intention to ask Grandpa kasi feeling na niya. He's going to do it alone because he knows that his parents are not going to help him. So in that case, it's not Grandpa. Kaya sinabi ni Grandpa, that's why we're going to make another answer. So in our another answer, we're going to write, Why does Grandpa use this metaphor? Grandpa uh felt like a chop liver because Grayson didn't uh, uh didn't thought of asking him for help. Here you go. Kaya na lo actually na lo si grandpa kasi parang Wala na bang ibang tutulong kay Jason and nandun naman yung dolo niya. So that's why he used the chop liver. So I want you to write this part um, in the in our next answer. So please and, uh, write this color blue part. So Grandpa felt like a chop liver because Grayson didn't thought of asking him for the so, diba, I want you to also understand na if your parents cannot do it with you and you cannot do it alone, meron pang ibang tao na pwede to do it sa atin. So, say, for example, ikaw sa bahay, you have your uh, grandparents with you, na dyan si Mamu, na dyan si Lone. So, kapag ganon, you can still ask for your help. Huwag ka mag-iya, okay? So, kindly write the color blue one and then going to ask if you agree. Do you do you agree with our answer number three? There. Please answer with a yes or when you're done writing. So, tapusin lang natin si number three before we is the meeting room is about to end. Uh, we have seven minutes. So when you're done, um, reply in the chat box if you agree with our answer. So then the way answer natin na and uh, teacher is helping you understand where our answers are coming from. Para and also for me to know if you understand the story that happened. So I So 
write first when you're done. Check our chat box. I am waiting for your answer. If do you agree with our number three? Sulat muna ha. Write first, finish your number three. When you're done, please go to our chat box. And teacher is waiting for your response. You can answer it a yes or a no. Pag nag-reply ka na in the chat box, that means I know that you are done writing. Okay. When you're done in writing, please see our chat box. It sure is waiting for your reply. Again, you can answer with a yes or a no. So the question in there is, do you agree with our answer in number three? Alright. So, since you are done, thank you for your answer. You agree that um, uh, um, we have the same, and that's correct. So, for this time, kindly read the number three from your worksheet, starting with a person. Go ahead. A person who feels they are being given less attention or, or mm -hmm. consideration than someone else. Mm -hmm. Grandpa felt like a Job labor because Grayson didn't thought of asking him for help. Yes, that's correct. Thank you so much for reading our answer. So I hope you understand uh, where Grandpa is coming from. Because the long part is Grandpa that Grayson didn't ask for his help when in fact he's available to help. Him. Now we are going to leave their meeting room and then go back right away. And then we'll continue with four and five. Because the meeting room is about to end. So let's leave and then let's go back again. Okay? Right? 